Hey, this is Adam Knackers, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you a workaround using the quiz feature in high level that will enable you to actually trigger an automation because unfortunately right now with high level, you cannot use the actual quiz submission event or action as a trigger in a workflow. So what I've done as a workaround is if you're in the quiz builder here and you go over to the top right where it says styles and options and you go over to options, on submit, you can choose open URL. By default, it'll choose the result template, which is, nice, which is nice because it's like a quiz template. But unfortunately, because we can't use the like quiz submission as a trigger, we have to do, like I said, this is a workaround. So you'll choose open URL. And what you need to do is build like a, a quiz results page or a quiz confirmation page. So you can see I've created this quiz confirmation page in my funnel. Just says, thank you for completing the quiz. Your scores are being compiled in a full report along with our top three recommendations will be sent to your email inbox shortly. And then what I did is in the workflow, so if you come to automations, okay, so I have this workflow here, quiz completed. What I've done is as the trigger, I use the funnel website page view. So I'm gonna show you how I set it up. So you just type in funnel and you'll see funnel website page view. And then funnel website, you just have to choose is, and then select the actual funnel. And then you wanna add a filter and choose the page. And you just wanna select is any of, and then only choose the quiz confirmation page. So what'll happen is then is when this page, which is now the, um, the destination to land on after they submit the quiz, um, when they land there, th that will effectively, um, that, that's the trigger now, right? So once I've saved this trigger, then when they view that page and that's where they'll land after they, sum, they submit the quiz, that will trigger this workflow. And what I've done is I've added a tag here for quiz completed. So I just tag all the contacts that actually complete the quiz. And then I'm gonna be running ads to this funnel. So I'm using the Facebook conversion API action to send a submit application event to Facebook via the, the conversion API. So what I'm likely going to do, is, I'll just show you one other thing. In quizzes, you may already know this, but in quizzes in the builder, what you can do is over here where it says notification settings, just click on that bell. And then if you turn on email notification for every submission that happens, you'll be notified, right? So I'm the way, the way I'm actually gonna operate uh, with this quiz going forward is I'm running ads, I'm promoting it in other ways. And when people submit the quiz, I'll be notified. And then I'm just gonna come in here and I already have, I'm, I'm just gonna set up a generic email to go out via that automation, that workflow that I set up that says, hey, we're currently looking at your quiz scores um, and we're putting together some recommendations for you. We'll have that over to you shortly. So that's all I'm gonna automate. And then I'm actually gonna look at their quiz results because all you need to do to see the quiz results, the simplest way I've um, found to do this is to just go wherever the quiz is. If you click on these three dots and go to view submission, it'll show you all the submissions. And so I'm just gonna, you know, as soon as I'm notified, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna look at their score and then I'm just gonna create a personalized email for them. Obviously this is an ideal. I fully expect that, you know, because this feature right now, the quiz feature is in beta, they're gonna continue to enhance it. I'm sure this workaround won't even be necessary for too much longer. High level is generally pretty good about, you know, fixing things when there's clearly a desire for, for something to be, you know, improved. So I have a feeling that'll happen fairly soon, but at least for the time being, this does enable you to trigger some actions that you want triggered after the quiz is submitted. So. That's all I have for this video. Hope you found it helpful. If you want to learn more tips and tricks with High Level to help you grow your marketing agency, be sure to su subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing you in future videos. And don't hesitate to leave a comment with any questions you have either. I check those every day and I, I respond personally to everyone. So um, yeah, I appreciate you following my channel and I'll see you in the next video.